Hey, boss, I believe we need a new computer over here. <laughs> what? Oh, what should we do, guys? Come on, team. I think we should just buy a new computer. Uh, how much money are we talking here? Why, just $700. What? Boss, that is so cool. We can get a touch screen. Everyone's using that now. Ah, uh, sure. Why not? Well, that'll be $900 then. Uh, boss, what about all the data on this computer? What are we going to do with that? Oh, that's right. We do need the data. Well, that's not a problem either. The nerd gurus can fix that for us. Oh, you don't say. Yep, just $175. Ah, oh, guys, guys, we need to find new alternatives. Uh, boss, uh, I, I, inspecting this, I believe I can fix this myself. Oh, that's great. Uh, go ahead, go do that then. Uh, hey, boss, uh, Mr. Sapp just called. He says that there's an appointment at 7 o'clock tonight and he'll be on his way shortly. Oh, I forgot all about that appointment. Oh, you know what, guys? Uh, forget it. We're just going to go and buy one. Come on, let's go. Let's jump in the car. And just like that, our hero jumped in the car with his associate there at the drop of a hat. They got a new computer, and just as quick as they went, they came right back to the office. Oh, boss, this is a great choice you've got here. Oh, I'm going to clean this up, and the boss is going to be so happy. All right, it's fixed. And just like that, there's the dilemma. Now we have two computers. So how exactly did our hero come to such a severe case of jello arms? Well, our team was in the process of generating and evaluating alternatives when the reminder of his upcoming appointment shortened the time limit that they would have to come to a solution. This caused our hero to make the irrational decision of making an impromptu purchase instead of exercising the rational alternative of letting the tech fix the problem. And as a result, the company ended up paying and making a purchase that simply wasn't necessary.